Bro, listen, man. So I'm so frustrated, bro. With what? Listen, bro. Listen, we 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 have this chase, right? I uh, yep. I guess it was I don't know a S boo uh, a boost. I don't know what the fuck was going on, right? Uh, they said they got additionals. They needed additionals. I start chasing this white car. This white car's going fast. Seems like they've been on it for a while. I said, okay, hey, is this like pit approved? I said it for 20 minutes on the radio. Nobody said anything. Cool. All right. The white car now goes do 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 a swap to to a two door red car. I'm there and I can spike. I said, can I spike? No comms on the radio again. Okay, cool. Now, what do we stay focused on? The red car or the white car? No one says anything. So I said, you know what? I took it upon myself. I, I go to the white car. I chase the white car. Keep chasing white car. Ten minutes goes by. Boom. Officer's hostage. You know who held up the officer? The red car. All right. Pull off the white car. Jump on the red car. They have guns at hill. All right. As soon as they let hill go, I think we're going to blast them. We don't blast them. We let them go. Yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I'm confused at this point. So I'm like, all right, well, they let them go. And then they continue to chase the red car. So I'm like, why are we chasing the red car? We let them go. What are we going to do? Tase them out of the car? They're like, this is... Uh, Tennessee versus Gardner now at this point, they took one of ours. Miss Chad Zola yeah. Robbie Beef? I know. <laughs> it was good. Uh, I mean, who gave the order not to shoot? No one no one said anything. That's the problem. No one said anything. Who, who was on scene? I don't, I don't even know. Yeah, who was the highest ranking on scene? I don't even know. I'm gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie to you. I was just, I was so I I haven't been this frustrated since I've been on duty. I had to take a, I had to take a breather. I just pulled off and came and took a breath here. Yeah, Yo, little be. Miss Creepy, appreciate that sub. Thank you so much, y'all. Yo, y'all, if y'all got primes, you know where to put them at. You know, Big Zo. You know what I'm saying? I appreciate y'all though. Well, shit, man. Ads. I mean, I don't know. I gave you um, ads. You got to got ads, right? I mean, in the past, if the second anybody's taken an officer hostage, uh, I mean, they just fucking shoot him when they drive away. Listen, Henderson, I'm saying at this point, we're looking like a fucking, we're looking like the, hey, hey, Crims, what do you want? You want this? You want that? Okay, okay, okay. So eventually, they're just going to start blasting us, bro. I mean, I kind of feel like we're already there. I mean, <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, they took an officer Yo, hostage off of what? Yo, dude, appreciate dude? that. What even was this off of? Exactly. And then on top of that, today, KTB shoots our officer, right? Okay. Give or take, Hill calls. Yo, they shot our, our, an officer. All right, do we open fire on this car? I have the car. Then they go, uh, well, you know, give or take, they might not know it was an officer. Okay, that makes sense, you know? Then Hill goes on the radio. They knew it was him. He showed his badge. Do we open fire? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Okay, all right. They shot our officers down in cold blood. Then we go to the gas station. We see a KTP member. One of them... I wasn't sure if it, it was a two door, but I wasn't sure if that car was there or not. One of the officers said well, that car was there. It, they seen it fleeing. I go to Tina, hey, let's just this GR saw testing. Tina's laughing and joking with him, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool. So we don't want to GSR test this guy. Oh, we can't just GSR test him. Listen. Oh, you're talking about that one at the gas station? Yeah. Right? Yeah, I was right. I was there. We, was didn't, there? Have, we didn't have PC. We only had RS. We can't GSR off P. Uh... Or no, I'm sorry. We, you, you can't GSR off of RS. You need probable cause. Hey. We only we, had a reasonable could, suspicion. We could have asked him. He might have said, yeah, he might have yeah, said no. Yeah, we could have asked him. That you is know true. what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. We could have I'm not saying hold him up, hold him. I'm just saying we could have asked him. All right? Yeah, yeah. Right? Our officers are getting shot left, right, and center, and we're just sitting here like little little boys. Like, what do we do? What do we do? Like, no one's making these calls. No one's, no one's, you know what I mean? And I don't know what to do in these situations, Henderson, because... You know, I'm a fucking probie. I've been a probie for a whole month, 10 hours a day, and they still don't see the, the goodness in me. I'm on these streets, man. I'm on these streets like crazy. And I can't even I get a pro I can't even get a fucking promotion. Told him that, man. <laughs> Have you come to NCOs or anybody else and asked what you need to do to so it's, listen, get pushed through? It's the same thing when I was a kid. There. It's just like, hey, man, you're not ready yet. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm, I was a probie for like over a month too, so I understand where you're coming from. It is frustrating. Yeah. And, and it's just like, but you know, we, we you know, Henderson, me, you, and a few others, we on the field every day, man. We seeing all types of shit. We go to the 4 a.m., 5 a.m., all right? We see all this shit. We, 
You know what I'm saying? That's someone yeah. showing initiative. I agree. But I'm just saying, like, it's it's starting to get to the point where it's like, hey, man, I got taken hostage yesterday, guns to my head, and I confirmed that's the car, and we didn't do a felony stop. We pulled them over like, hey, hey. <laughs> Spit bad there, right? <laughs> I, I wasn't laughing at that. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think we need to have a another one of those like come to Jesus moments. Like you remember that document that like <laughs> came around and was like being on the same page. Yeah, I think some people need to uh, need to reread that. You know, we need we we need we need we need we need a, we need a makeover in this bitch. We need to like okay, this is because when I talk to commissioner. And I tell him, listen, these are the problems I have. He's like, you're supposed to be doing this. You're he tells me direct, hey, if they pitch you over this, you open fire. That's a lethal threat. If they do this, you detain them. If they do this, and then it's like when we get in the situation, it's like, hey, are we doing this, guys? Now it's like, again, our point is our cops are getting tasted hostage and we're just... I hear you. And I will... Um... I even agree with you in a lot of aspects. So give me, give me a little bit of time. I will find the right, right I people. I follow Rami's reviewers, and hopefully we can bring some meaningful change. They, they, they'll when you do some crazy shit, they'll understand it because they. I was talking about it with Donovan because they understand Rami. I just think a lot of people are really terminally scared for no reason to do their job. Shit. Hey, you know and what? The, I don't know why, because I don't know who's out well, here getting sir. fired, or I'll, who's I'll out here uh, getting yeah, in trouble. Just, just like, this guy rammed me at 120, yeah, so I shot him. Right. Nobody ever gets it's in trouble right. for that. So, like, I don't know where the hesitation comes okay. from, you know? Bro, I don't know. I appreciate you, man. I just, uh, you know, I just needed an event. I needed someone I could trust, I could vent to. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, anytime you have a frustration or anything like that, man, you can always come to me. Yeah, that's Chef Eli, I think. Yeah, I'll, I guess. Uh, I'll make I'll make sure that it's uh, it's taken seriously at the very least. Yeah, man. Just we just uh, you know, I don't know. I just I just feel like we need somebody like you know who's in like if who's in charge. Like we're on a chase. There needs to be a set person that's in charge that's gonna make and and that's gonna make that distinct call. They have a scene lead usually, yeah. but you know, scene lead. Most people, scene lead falls the fuck off as soon as we enter into a chase. You know, oh, bro, all the time. Because you, you, you're chasing for ten hours, you don't even know what the. By the time you get, by the time you catch them, you're like, what the fuck was this about? Oh yeah, I just shot four or five cops. Oh, oh really? Where? You know what I mean? Like I was disheartened yesterday. I got taken hostage, and nothing was done about it. Yep. Nothing was done. No, there was no seriousness. But God forbid I go to I go to autos and I'm typing on a computer. Someone makes a complaint and Tina's bringing me in for a 20 hour talk about. Hey, don't don't be typing on their computers in in, in autos. <laughs> what? Huh? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like. Huh? Yeah, some some Karen complained. I get Karen complaints every day. I get a Karen complaint. I get talked to about. Did you do this? What did you? How? Why did you make this person feel this way? I'm like, huh? Did I violate anybody's rights or anything? Okay, cool. But I don't mind if she does that. But keep the same energy for all the other shit. Yeah, true. I mean, well, it was so it was just about you touching the computers or something? So I went in there, right? Um, you know, when I went into there, I went into the bay, like between the bays. There was three cars and there was a space. And she was like, hey, don't park there. Get out the shop. So I said, all right, cool. Sounded like a, it's a Grinch, whatever. So then I'm there chilling and I go over to the computer and I'm just trolling. Like, I'm not even touching the computer. The computer's not even on. I'm like, dude, dude, dude. She's like, oh, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, just seeing just hacking into this device you know maybe maybe some laundry money laundry just joking laughing whatever and then she was like oh okay and then after that she was like uh she was like talking to me saying some like she was saying some dumb shit and i was like 
Yo, are you trying to patronize me? Anderson and the guy who owes me money. Hey, Anderson. Hey, Raccoon. Uh, how you doing? She says I owe because they paid her. Um, um, Tempest paid her, said they'll pay her $5,000 to annoy me, and she was just fucking annoying the shit out of me. And I was like, I'll pay you 10 k okay? And then, uh, she's like, okay. You got and then, uh, she was like, oh, you got a 10 k And I just drove, <laughs> I drove off, and she kept chasing me. <laughs> oh, she chased me, and I... <laughs> she, she, she lost me, and every time she sees me, she's like, I need that money. Good night, you're not creepy. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so um she would say I so saw I was like, Oh you like are you don't I'm like, Are you don't I said, Don't you patronize me? And she's like, Is that a threat? I'm like, I don't know how you can accumulate patronizing to a threat. So she was just being like super like odd. So I was just like, ah, I'm done trolling with this girl. Literally forgot about it. The next day I, I clock in, Tina's like, I gotta have a conversation with you. What happened at autos yesterday? And I said, huh? Uh, I'm like, what the? Yo, I do so much shit in the day. I'm like thinking all this type of shit. Then she was like, yeah. Um, What did you tell? I forget what her, she said her name was. I'm like, what are you talking about? She's like, oh, you went in there and said that you're doing this and you're hacking her devices. I don't want you doing that. You need to read the room and da 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 da. I'm like, how is this even a conversation right now? I don't even understand like but i said okay cool i respect that you know i just i won't be talking to that girl no more whatever and then yeah, that's probably a good idea yeah and then i caught her on a robbery and i arrested oh. her and she had she has this entitled attitude it's like it's weird bro like i don't know if this girl needs to just like she needs to just like go to a beach and just like chill like she's just like has this like entitlement. It's like, I'm like, yo, I put her in cuffs and she was like, didn't look like she was in cuffs. So I was like, can you point? She's like, I'm in cuffs. And I was like, you know what? She was like, uh, she was in the passenger seat. And I was like, yeah. and then one of the officers was like, yo, I know this is your case, but you know, I know this girl, she doesn't really do anything bad. Can you, can you let her go? Whatever. But I could have been the dick. I could have been like, listen, you try to get me fired. You're going to jail. You know what I said to her? I said, listen, I'm gonna let you go. You didn't do nothing. You didn't run. Um, I'm gonna let you go. Uh, you know, she didn't even say thank you, bro. What? She didn't even say Jeez. thank you. And I said, you know what? This is, I said, listen, I'm gonna give you grace because you didn't give me grace. You went out your way to drive all the way down there here from your job to tell them to make a complaint about me. And I caught you committing a crime that you did, and I'm gonna give you grace because I'm gonna do something you wouldn't do. That was the whole purpose around it, you know what I mean? I showed her I was the bigger person. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people don't take that though. Sometimes you gotta kill them with kindness, man. You know, grace, you know, let them be. True, true. You know, they gonna complain about me, you know what I'm saying? But I'm out here, I'm doing my job, man. That's all I can do, you know what I mean? Just keep it up, man. Just keep it up. I mean, your FTO is Donovan. You you really couldn't have... God, I think I hope she's not around. You really couldn't have drawn a shorter stick on that one. Like, Yo, you know what's crazy, right? So, on. I'm gonna tell you this story. So, Commissioner was like, yo, he put me in, and he was like, yo, you know, uh, just, you know, be a cadet for a couple of days, whatever you be. Good, whatever you know so i didn't have an fto when i came in i didn't have so i was riding with harmony so it was just like because uh he he introduced me to harmony so i was like right, i'm gonna i'm gonna rock with harmony so riding with harmony so then one day um like i i think it was like a week later so harmony was like man i can't ride with you and i was like why and then she was like yo tina's taking your 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 shit up personally so she chose to be my fto Tina's taking your shit personally. <laughs> she she chose to be my FTO. I didn't, wasn't supposed to have FTO. I was just supposed to be the cadet. And then, you know, long story short, you know, son, you know, I've known a commissioner a while. You know what I'm saying? But, bro, she chose it. So now it's like she kept me a cadet for so long. Now it's just like, I don't know what I did to Tina, but she has. She has. Uh, like, you know, she's a hard ass. I respect it. But there's no way she cannot see the work I'm putting in and just being like, 
And then she was like, oh, I'm going to do your eval. She did my eval. She was in a car for five minutes and then was like, oh, I got to go inside and deal with some other shit. And then just left. When was that? This was last week. Jesus. So I'm like, then Gomez comes and she's like, why are you not, why are you not an officer yet? I'm like, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I was starting to harm me. She's like, man, I'm trying, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, but I don't know what it is, man. I don't know what it is, man, but I went with, um, I wasn't, I went with, um, uh, Giles for, for three days, right? Cause I was a cadet for so long. Giles came in and took took me. I was there for three days, and he's like, "Pass me right away." It's like, "Yo, you gotta, you, you don't need to be a cadet no more." For three days. Huh. You fuck with a new twenty one? Yeah, I fuck with it. Damn, I mean, sh I, fuck. That is kind of, that's kind of yeah. I see where you're coming from. Mm. Um. I I will ask Donovan. I will follow up with her. I wouldn't ask her. I was man. actually don't do, do you know why I don't do it? Because when I was a cadet, she's like, oh, because I was like, why am I a cadet so long? She's like, oh, you keep asking me. I'm gonna hold you. I'm gonna keep you this way. So with I don't this, think she actually meant that though. Donovan like says a lot of shit she doesn't mean. Bro, bro, I that when I've been a probie and I've not asked her once because I know that's what she wants me to do. So she could be like, this is why you're. This is why I'm keeping you a probie. Right, do you think she has some type of vendetta against you or something? She's, That's what this is I, sounding like. I, I honestly, listen, all right? I fuck with Tina, but I think I think it's like, I think she does have a vendetta against me. I don't know what it is, but it's something that she has and she, or this control she has over me. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Hey, so I don't want to ruffle no feathers. I'm staying the fuck out the way. Cause once I'm officer, that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like the the high commands and stuff, they they will promote me and shit. You know. But yeah. right right now, it's she's got the, she's got her hand on me, and she's she's not letting that go anytime. <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't you come right? You if that was the case, come ride with me. Why don't you ride with me? Like, and like I, you see me out here ten hours a day, like doing stuff with the officers and stuff. Like Lane, that day Lane, Lane gave me full control of that uh, when we did the breach. Like, I fuck with Lane. I fuck with Lane heavy, man. And um, everybody's like showing me love, you know what I mean? Like, yo, like giving me that space to do me. But she'll come yeah. back and be like, uh-uh-uh-uh. Come back here. Come back here, boy. We ain't done with you. It's a, and when I say vendetta, Grant's gonna Fuck. feel that way, right? Grant, I'm looking at this too. I mean, don't worry, I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to her, but not in a way that you know screams, "Hey, Grant told me to talk to you about this." <laughs> like I'll, I'll casually bring it up. She's gonna be like, I, oh, I, I seen can you feel, I can feel your, day. I can feel you're fed up, and I get where you're coming from, and I don't want that to, you know, demotivate you from. You know, coming on duty or anything like that, because you are a good officer, and honestly, we need you out there. In my humble opinion, appreciate so, that. So, I would. Uh, we need a little RP in PD, and uh, you know, uh, it, it it'll buff out. Trust me. <clears throat> All right. All right. I appreciate you that. Do that. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna keep my head on swivel. Hopefully, you know. Okay. All right. <sighs> all right. Like I said, man, you, you you have any frustrations, anything like that? You can come to me, all right? All right. I appreciate you, bro.